Greetings, coders. In this video, we're going to look at how functions work, how we define functions in Scheme. So to define a function, we use, we can use the define and have where we give it the name that we're defining it to. See how this would normally just be the name itself. But now we have it in parentheses and we give it a name, the name there, and then any parameters that we're going to have. And then this is the body of the function. And so this is where we take those parameters and do something with it. So in this case, when we call add one, two, we get three. We can also define functions using the, using an anonymous function or a, using a Lambda expression. And so in this case, this is a sub function. It has stands it can stand on its own to execute and we define add two so we're defining add two as the name of it that we'll refer to later but then the function itself is in the body and it's going to take in two arguments plus x plus y and so we end up with add two one plus two equals three so execution wise, it looks the same, but technically what's happening inside here is that this is a sub function that has its own parameters. We also have this idea of let using let. So let works where we have let, and then we have name value, and we can have multiple of those till we have name and value in, and then we have actions that are performed based on these. So these are the parameters, the name and the value. And then we have the statements that are executed accordingly. So we might have something like where we set A and B. And then in the body, we use A and B in different ways. Notice that this A and B are known values at this point. But at this point in the code, A and B are no longer accessible. So we've created this scoping for within the let that the, this A and this B are only accessible in the body for the let. Let's see if some examples will help. So the scope, as we said, is only within the body. So here we have A is three, we have B is A. This is not the body yet. We are still up here in the parameters portion. And so, as a result, A is not accessible yet. A is only accessible down here. In another example, we have A, 3, B, 4. We have A and B, and we do that within the let. And then we're outside of the let here, and we try to access A and B again. And unless they're defined somewhere else, they are not in the body of the let. This is, they are not accessible here. And that's it for this video.